I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. Come on, Key, get rid of some of them turds in the shit box. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast with me, Rab himself. Hello and welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast. I'm your host, Rab himself, and I have another incredible guest today, CKY member, Jackass, Viva La Bam, Haggard, Ming Hags, all that stuff, Mr. Rake Yonneth. Still alive. <laughs> How you doing, Rab? There Long he time is. to see, man. <laughs> I know, dude. It has been a while, but it's, uh, but it's awesome to see you. I said uh, maybe a couple more gray hairs in the, uh, in the big metal hair that you still have. Shit, a couple more gray hairs. <laughs> oh, you just missed it. I had this long ass goatee like from back in the day oh but, hell yeah you know i got like a semi like respectable job and i was walking in looking like gandalf <laughs> the biker like i felt like such a shit bag dude i finally fuck. had to like it got so bad <laughs> yeah but there's there's like so good to me there gandalf i was like the biker i'm like dude, i gotta like have some kind of self-respect dude so, you got to grow back but you are uh you are progressing into the mad scientist perfectly i mean you are a chemist oh. and now you have the crazy white hair or it's gray but it's it's on its oh, way it's to getting, white it's gotten worse yeah and it's uh it's perfect Perfect. So, uh, these fuckface kids aren't helping anything. Either. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. You got a couple of crazy little, oh little God, dudes yeah. running around. Yeah, hopefully, back here. you don't hear them in the background. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good. I can't complain. They're yeah. healthy. Yeah. I'm alive. Yeah, exactly. So, you got that going. How the hell don't you have any gray hair going on? You're using that just for men. <laughs> Fuck no. I have a few in the beard. Uh, do you? Yeah, but, uh, but not, Same. but not much. Uh, I, I got lucky, but the thing is, my dad, uh, he got gray hair and then white hair one year later. Like it, it was like he, uh, he his gray happened late, but then it was white. Oh, dude, don't tell me that. And then it was like old man immediately. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. So uh, so you're speaking of a respectable job. Uh, I think people, some people that have followed the CKY jackass stuff that we did, uh, know that you are a chemist. You're actually a legit ke- uh, chemist. Yeah. So what? So re- I don't even say want to say recently. A few years back, I actually switched from the uh, organic chemistry thing to the whole like biopharmaceutical thing. Okay. So now I like. I grow cells instead of like the Breaking Bad chemistry. Right. So I guess I kind of have evolved with the times. <laughs> yeah, because I remember when you would say before you're a chemist, people wouldn't believe and they think you're just selling drugs. But... So on my Twitter <laughs> thing, I used to love doing this like uh, like Science Saturday. You know, and I'd be sitting yeah. on my ass and just like. Just ask me whatever random science question you can think of and see if we can fucking figure out the answer in, like, five minutes or less. Like, yeah. i got to start trying to do that again. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I mean, because I do have so many questions. I, I did find it to be really such a um, kind of uh, – maybe a, a, a juxtaposition of you being some wild man. I'm looking at a picture of the vo- the village voice with you having your oh, ass hanging out over God. here on Jackass Nation. And then you're going in to be this like real scientist, you know, doing, um, you know, the biochemistry and, and all that. And it's like, it, it's like, Wait, how do you how do you change gears from that to that? So you know how that worked <laughs> for like twelve years. So in organic chemistry, most of the people that do it are such nerds. Yeah. Some of them, I don't even know if they had a TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. a lot of the other people, oh, there you go. Maybe like we'll just say English wasn't necessarily their first language. Yeah. So they weren't that in the TV. So it took about eight or so years until somebody finally saw <laughs> something. And You're this like... one dude I work with. I forget the guy's name. He was kind of like, I, I saw you on the TV. And then I was like, yeah, well, you know. That's, and then he was like, <laughs> but you're here. Yeah. And then I was like, well, yeah, I work here. And he was like, but you were on the TV. And I was like, well, it doesn't happen like at the same time. Like, I don't even yeah. know if they knew how the whole thing worked. Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, either you are do you should be doing that all the time or you're instantly rich and why would you yeah, be at this And job? maybe in like mainland China, like if you're on TV, like, dude, yeah. like, that's it. You're not going to like schlep around with you yes. know, these other people, like, you know, <laughs> pulling like 100 pound loads through like the streets or anything yeah. like that. But I was like, yeah. Pulling uh, loads. In America, <laughs> especially rap, some of the people that we worked for, yeah. it doesn't always work that way. You no, know what I mean? I know. Not that way no, at them, all. Them people that are making the money, they live up on the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, down the yeah, hill. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. They're up yeah. on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the truth. But we had some good times. Dude, we had some amazing times. And, and I was thinking back to, like, I mean, I've known you. Um, you're actually my older brother's age. Um, yeah, we went dude. to high school with my with my older brother. 
And uh, and that's how I kind of got to know you. And I knew your your younger brother, Art Webb, 1986. Yep. And uh, and so then, you know, I ended up at, at your folks' house because you guys used to throw parties in high school. Yeah, I can't and, believe we're back here now. Yeah, we're down here in, yeah. in, the, in the basement. In the dungeon. Uh, yeah, doing the dungeon thing. But it's funny because, yeah, you guys would always have, like, the parties that we wanted to be at. You know, like the cute girls were going to be here at this party at this house. And so you had to come and, and, and hang Don't out and do that. Don't ask me why, man. Remember back in the day, like, <laughs> Freaking uh, you and like Darren and everybody would come over. Yeah, Bam would like like come in like like yeah. something crazy is gonna happen. Yeah, and it was. I mean, Art would be helicoptering his freaking knob like standing on the kitchen table, like, <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> doing the dick helicopter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cky one two and three. Check it out. Oh See man. See the hand job on the black counter. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can. I mean, you can remember from the CKY videos where you know, because Art was walking around with a chain necklace on, and <laughs> he was such a weightlifter back then. You know, like he was just such a, a bodybuilding guy. Like, yeah, it's all about being a dude. And you know, and and I just remember being like, what the he hell? He tried to fight me so bad from partying. Yeah. Two years later, he's like. <laughs> freaking revenge of the nerds like chug chug yeah chug, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. nerds like <laughs> double fist and beers oh good times dude that's hilarious yeah no because this was definitely a hangout this uh your, your folks house here a good time. and it was spawned a lot of our really bad ideas yeah and there was a, ended up on film yeah there was a bunch of stuff shot here yeah. too you know from the from the cky days and and uh yeah so i mean it, it's crazy kind of what took off you know i don't think any of us would have known we're going to film these dumb little bits with each other make each other laugh no. and then that was going to turn into what it did no you know um lead to jackass and then to viva la bam and and all the rest of the stuff that was you know that, that was a part of it um you know just just uh wanted to go through a little bit like you know brandon messing with you um obviously there's a question that everybody wants to understand why do you hate mustard so bad? Because I always fucking hated it my whole <laughs> life. And art would fuck with me. Yeah. Um, it's the whole combination of the chemicals that are in the seeds and the nasty-ass fucking vinegar. I just didn't like it. I didn't yeah. like it my sandwiches. I didn't want it on me. <laughs> I said it's kind of like a dude's skeet. Like, Ew. I don't have anything necessarily against it, but I just don't want it, like, I don't <laughs> want it to touch me. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, you know. Nothing against it, just don't put not, it on like, me. near my mouth. Yeah. Know? Oh, God. I mean, no offense to people who like that kind of thing. It's just not... <laughs> It's really not for me. So that's the whole, yeah. The, just the whole way I, I reacted to that. And then, you know, and then Brandon got a kick out of it. And, and he figured that out. So he tortured you with it. But, but it was funny to me, like, that you did have this, like, chemical approach to why you didn't like it. I mean, you're a scientist and you're thinking about the chemical yes, mixture. I just cyanate acetic acid. It fucking tastes like shit. And then, you know, you just trying to torture me with you. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Running around with that shit on bologna, my fucking, you know, chasing uh. me around the house oh my god yeah no and, it, and, it, and it's funny so then obviously brandon takes it to a new level creating the character mustard man oh my god <laughs> i found like every now and then i go through like all the random shit that's in the house like thank god oh you do have a camera here like i hope it's not a wide <laughs> angle so like my pop's getting stuff redone there's shit everywhere down in the basement oh yeah and then every now and then you'll just find something and I found that the mustard man like placard. I forget what he did, but he made these like um, eight by ten, like printout things. Yeah, I had some at work. <laughs> I was like, "Why the fuck is this Dude, at work? This mustard shit is following yeah, me everywhere." Yeah, the move desks. I was like, "Why do I have mustard man and Skeletor like <laughs> at my like legit like job?" Oh man, that's hilarious. But uh, but when I remember one time I went out to lunch with you to see if this was a real thing. There's nobody filming anything. Nobody's around, and I just kind of started to mess with you, like, dude. Seriously, fucking stop. Oh, yeah. And like, and I'm like, oh man, this is a I'm real like, what thing. Were you thinking, like, but, it right, was some made up bullshit. Right, that's what well, I was wondering if it was. So I wanted to test that theory, and then I come to realize on my own, like, no, you really fucking hate it. <laughs> nah, so it's like yeah, it's something that you know I'd actually prefer to end the conversation because I'm still yeah, paranoid yeah. now. Some, yeah. <laughs> some <motherfucker's> <laughs> somebody's <creeping>. coming in. <laughs> Brandon's like right around the corner. <laughs> Like, literally, Rab, sitting here with you, looking at you, yeah. it makes me not trust anything. <laughs> like, I don't That's trust, awesome. like, because uh. back in the day, 
to my left. <laughs> Somebody could be in that dark room with some kind of bullshit yep. like thing waiting to go, <laughs> either flour or what, like who the fuck knows what in some kind of yep. bucket. Brandon could be lurking around the other corner <laughs> with a camera or like who, yep. who the hell knows. And that's what it was. And then I come out and distract and hey, how's it? And then all, it's all happening and it's a setup. Yep. I want to call it post-traumatic stress, <laughs> but I wonder what it is. Like, <laughs> my so... senses are heightened right now. Yeah. I don't trust anything. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No, it is funny, man. And, and so, so much fun filming all that stuff. But you're right. Like you were never able to sleep. You were never able to like shut your eyes or trust that you weren't going to get fucked No, with. and I don't want to ruin it now. Because we're not that far into the podcast, but the worst thing that you ever did to me that I never, ever forgot. <laughs> and I don't know if you even remember this or even care about it. I do care. But to I this know. day, I've never, ever forgotten it. So the one thing in my life that makes me happy is when I can fucking be by myself, sit chill in a fucking bathtub and try and get oh. clean <laughs> and nobody can like come in there or whatever so I never forget, we were living down by jake's and that now like, i remember you know, that little place it was a thursday night i don't got no girlfriend no wife like you know we're ready to go it's thursday night that was a big night in Westchester. yeah yeah so i'm just about done my thing it was like relaxing my hair's <laughs> all clean my body's clean so i'm like soaking so just pretty much my head and my face are above the water <laughs> and the fucking door pops open and there's Rab's like fucking beady fucking smile and I was like <laughs> thinking like why the fuck is he so happy and like why is he like <laughs> peeping in on me when I'm yeah. naked in the bathtub like there's some bubbles and shit still in there yeah yeah my man pulls out a slice of pepperoni looks at me <laughs> And throws it like a perfect horseshoe throw. It lands flat in a bathtub, like right above my nuts. But I can see the pepperoni oil <laughs> spread out at that point all over the surface of the water. Because oh, you know, the oil like will sit on top of the water. And I'm at this point I'm still below the water. <laughs> so below my neck is perfectly clean. Like I was literally ready to get out in like thirty seconds. So then I was like that motherfucker. I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I stand up, and at that point, a perfect sheen of pepperoni oil, <laughs> I'm guessing maybe 5 to 50 microns thick, is then covering what was oh. ordinary, a perfectly clean from head to toe, even in the butthole, like <laughs> corn crack. And at then, at that point, everything is perfectly covered in pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. So you go from perfectly clean to a fucking piece of dirty pizza. <laughs> In seconds, it ruined oh. everything. And then the bath is filled with pepperoni oil. I smell like a fucking pepperoni pie. <laughs> we're leaving in like thirty minutes. Yeah, and we're about to go try and dude. Talk I to never some get rab like runs out. I was so fucking pissed, dude. So I, dude, so I owe good. you one. One oh, of these days. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what I could do to get back at you. I was like, so maybe I should be watching my back right now because I did. I, as soon as you mentioned the bathtub, I totally remember that because it was hilarious to me. We just got pizza delivered, and I was like, he, and then and that was my dinner too. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. probably the last. Slice. Wait for oh, me. It was. Like, it was. Break it out of bed. That, like, that was it. Pizza's it... here. <laughs> so then they take my dinner and then cover me. <laughs> if you were to strip me buck naked and use one of those spray tan guns, oh yeah, and try and spray me with pepperoni oil, you couldn't have gotten a more perfect, <laughs> thorough coating than you did that day. Uh, so down. Yes. I think underneath your toenails, there's pepperoni oh, oil at that point. God damn, it sounds so nasty. And the funniest part is Brandon's down there going, yeah, he's. he's He's up in the bathroom, like bah, dee, 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 up in the, and I was like, he's in the bathroom, like, why is it taking so long to take a shower? He's like, he doesn't take a shower, he takes a bath. And I'm like, what? He takes a fucking yeah, bath? He takes a bath? Oh, wait, let me throw his dinner. Yeah, I'll yeah. bring him his dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring my dinner right to or his dinner right to him, and uh, and and yes, soak you in the my oil. My nuts probably still smell like pepperoni <laughs> from like 17 years ago. Yeah, I was just trying to moisturize you with some pepperoni yeah, that's oil. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I got uh, that off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about before, sometimes you just got to let stuff go. Yeah. So, yeah. Rab, yeah. today, I let it go. <laughs> well, thank you. You held on to it for 15 years. I'm not going to try and do anything but, horrible yeah. to either you or your children like 30 years from now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still I still don't trust that, but yeah. uh, but I appreciate yeah. it. No, it's uh, it's hilarious. Um, just just that kind of stuff. And, and that was stuff. We didn't even film that. You know, those, those days were just, month. you know, incredible, That was crazy the warm-up. 
Yeah. Like, let's yeah. ruin his night. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, you're like, all right, just constantly, constantly having to watch your back, constantly somebody's fucking with you. And, and it's like, dude, you know, you, you just, you couldn't trust a soul. Well, the one thing I guess we can say is that, um, you know, they have all this fucking bullshit reality TV, whatever the fuck you want to call it now. But the stuff that you saw, especially on our CKY movies, no, that's pretty much how we lived. Yeah. <laughs> Either there was a camera there or there wasn't. When there was a camera there, it was called CKY. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when there wasn't, it was just called, like, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, exa <laughs> exactly, dude. And that I think that's what was so cool about it is that it just naturally happened to be what we were doing anyway and we were filming it and then people go you know people will come up to me like dude we were totally doing that before you and i'd go yeah you you definitely were i'm sure we we're all doing it we just happened to have a camera around yeah and now it's you know like if by before us you mean like tuesday night yeah I was like no rab was here on monday yeah 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 exactly <laughs> but, but the batteries ran out yeah <laughs> but the funny part is though i think that's why people related and that's why it did take off was that you know people we're all acting a fool. I mean, if you ever go on tour with a band, they're acting a yeah. fool on the bus, and 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 friends are constantly doing that. And as we had the camera around, it just started to be this one-upsmanship in a way of like, all right, well, you know, I put the pepperoni on Rake, so he's gonna put fucking crabs in my pants or whatever, and then it just goes to this, you know, level of. So another thing I wanted to <laughs> tell your listeners about you, and the one thing I always loved when we like whenever we were hanging out, because sometimes like. Um, Especially once the shit started getting more popular, there's more and more people around. There's producers, yeah, there's fucking this person, that person, and some days we're just like, oh, this is like, this is like more of a pain in the ass than it's worth. But when you were around, and so we would start filming, right, and then somebody would have a funny idea, haha. -ha, especially when we were doing the jackass thing, yeah, and then that funny idea, somebody would just kind of take it to the next level. And then it would get taken to the next level. <laughs> and then so it's like, let's say like an unwashed, dirty ass. That's funny. Yeah. But then it would become like an unwashed, dirty butthole. And then <laughs> you can maybe see some of the humor in that, but you're starting to take it to that next yeah. level that's too far. I look over a rap. He'd look at me and we're like... I don't know if we like where this is going. <laughs> and then when things start going in or around the butthole, <laughs> we would kind of be like, okay, like this shit was funny before, like about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I'd look at Rabbi, look at me, and like literally without saying anything, we'd be like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I feel like, like at that point, Dunn is like two knuckles deep in his asshole. Yeah, and you're and like then, this is borderline. Yeah, me and you homo were looking at each other. And we're like, stuff. I mean, some people like it. We yeah. We just didn't yeah. like it so i'd look at him he'd look at me and there was literally times i remember looking at you and we're looking around like at doors and windows <laughs> how and, do like, we get out like the van's not moving <laughs> that fast yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this back door open yeah yeah you know? uh, like, they're coming this way and and that really smells like like a prison shower <laughs> I, I know, and there was always the uh, the rusty hook was like Ryan's thing. He would uh, stick it all two knuckles deep into his asshole, and then hook your mouth with the shit. Like they caught Tremaine with that the one time. Yeah, and he was like, "It's in my nose," and I was yeah. like, "I hope the back of his fucking van opens." Cause yeah, yeah, I got a meeting at three thirty. This was a part yeah. of the deal, dude. You're totally held captive in that van, and yeah. you can't fucking do anything. And you're going somewhere, and it's like I'm getting a little tired, but I better fucking not fall asleep or try to even nod off or I'm screwed. Yeah, you know? fight or flight syndrome kicks yeah. in and then you're like, I mean, you were looking at each other like, <laughs> yo, bro, you got my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and, and also because I think the two of us would get fucked with a lot. I mean, everybody did, but wait, but uh, but you know we would <laughs> little uh, little Rayquan is over there throwing hats into the hey, mix. Little nutsack, get out of here! <laughs> but <laughs> but so uh, so yeah so uh, you know. Where were we before uh, Ted Yon? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were talking about, uh, like, like partially fingering buttholes. Anyway, yeah, 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 okay. That's a good conversation yeah. with your kids around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, so it, it was, like, kind of, uh, you know, just crazy that it would just be taken to that next level and you, you never knew who to trust. But we did get fucked with a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, all the other guys get fucked with, too, but then you felt like it would come down on, on you and I, and then we were all, each other's line of defense. And then, like you said, you'd look at me and you could 
almost see in my eyes, like, I'm setting you up right now. I can still and, see it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm like, I don't want to do this, but we have to. And yeah, it's going to be funny. The you other know? crazy thing would be like when, um, you know, there'd be like all these ideas, blah, blah, blah. And then like the day's not going good. And they're looking at like <laughs> me and you to save the day. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I feel like a hero right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd have the same look that you got on your face right now with that same smile. like uh, Shit-eating grin. Like it, <laughs> like sorry dude <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> better you than me yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be worth yeah. it once, once you forgive me you'll laugh at yeah, it too yeah we'll laugh yeah. tomorrow maybe <laughs> uh good times but um okay so you're you're the heavy metal guy obviously in uh in haggard the the indie film that we made oh, that was awesome. and uh those it, films are so much fun yeah and it was so much fun but you uh you know you, you uh you were the heavy metal guy brandon would always make fun of that and uh and and kind of <laughs> you're raising just another one just like Ray Young but uh but anyway you would um you would like you know be made fun of as the heavy metal guy you're the long haired guy this and Brandon would do all the voices and uh and you became hellboy in that movie um because you were you were a heavy metal dude yeah. and and I actually sat down with uh with with Darren Miller uh of CKY 96 bitter beings How's he doing, uh, by the way? he's doing it uh, yeah he, he's doing time. awesome Next time we see him, man. Yeah, he's doing awesome he's got a bunch of awesome new music and uh and uh he and he's doing incredible stuff but he he was talking about how when he first came to East High School, school he was like you know he was into metal but he wasn't like super long hair yet and he wasn't fully in that but he came and he was like nervous and he just looked over at you and was like oh okay that's the guy he's the metal head and he's the guy that'll save the day and and i remember he was talking about how really wanting to be in threshing sledge oh which was God. your, was your horrible, band man. so i used to love like i still love the idea of guitar i want to get one again i want to fuck with it but I fucking sucked at guitar. Like, <laughs> and Darren was really, really good. And I think he always yeah. wanted me to be good. Yeah. And I was like, it was just never really going to happen. <laughs> like, I looked the part pretty good. Yeah. Like, if there was, like, if there was a way to, like, milli vanilli it up <laughs> and, like, like yeah, Darren yeah, yeah, would yeah. be, like, in the background or something. And playing it and, and you're out there like, like yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh like i could like it would be great i'd still to this day would love to like play on stage with him maybe i could knock out like four chords while yeah. he liked the whole rest of the song yeah just do yeah, yeah exactly just cover me i'll, he could probably, uh, I'll look like, awesome. with like a, a midi guitar play the bass and the guitar part while i'm just barely like carrying like a simple melody but yeah no exactly uh, no, but... that, yeah that was great man back in the day darren so what was that band like? Talk a little bit about Threshing Sledge, your band. Uh, it was sort of it was like a Christian rock metal band or something. Dude, it was, it was. Uh, so, the Festers, man, who still like they're still around. You know, I still still see them every now and then. Yeah, he stole my brother's motorcycle. I I, I know the <laughs> Festers. <laughs> <laughs> I should say different of the Fester clan had varying reputations. Yeah. But my man's got fucking like Marshall Stacks and shit down in his basement. Like yeah, somebody else's stacks. Marshall Stacks yeah. in his basement. Well, it's, it's a, and Keith, <laughs> his brother can play double bass. I'm like, that's yeah. all, that's what you need. Yeah. Now, at the time, you know, the the music was maybe uh, uh, the message on the religious side, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but to this day, and one of the first heavy metal concerts I ever went to, I think it was at the Downingtown Roller Rink. The <laughs> Cowan Roller Rink. I remember that. We saw a band, Believer, oh, played yeah. at the Down uh, at the Cowan Roller Rink. I think you could still look them up on iTunes. Yeah. To this day, you ask Darren Miller or anybody about that band, Believer, they were amazing guitar players, amazing musicians, like full on crazy like 80s thrash heavy metal. Hell now, yeah. Very religious at the time, so it was cool because your mom and everyone would let you go. Yeah. No, and yeah, and oh yeah, all you got to do is kind of say, "Hey, it's Jesus Christ involved," and then they're like, "Oh, cool," but it's heavy metal, you know, craziness. So um, yeah, the only yeah. the only part that kind of sucked about that is you don't get the, like the really hot heavy metal chicks at yeah. concerts like that. It's more of like like the heavy set ones and spandex and like yeah. jean jackets. And, oh like, yeah, bad back patches. It's, yeah, it's not what you what you see on the uh, no, on no, the no. video. Hey, get away from the camera. Hey guys, that's go worth under more here. than your life. Go Come underneath on. and get the F out of here. Go. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, crawl under. Go. Come on, little Richard. Come on. That's an expensive not, no, camera. Not that one, Don't bud. touch his stuff. Go. <laughs> here, come no, this way. Don't want to touch Come this That's way. like three iPads. Go. I don't want to tie your nuts. 
Ew! Ew! He's going to touch like nuts. That. Your teacher might listen to this podcast. <laughs> God, I hope she doesn't. Oh man, yeah, but uh, but yeah. So back to uh, the the uh, the religious view and the the religious mindset. Yeah, so I mean, mindset. it was fun, you know, like playing that stuff. You know, we we recorded stuff like that, but it let me know that I wasn't that good. <laughs> at Figured a lot that of out. Things. Yeah. So uh, so who so was, so, so then did Darren join the band or or he kind of. Play, played with you you said at that time he was kind of already on another level yeah i would think he'd be on another level now he would never laugh in my face <laughs> but i think i like yeah. i think he got a kick out of it because at the time i think he was hanging out with my boy scott pebble and everyone and they yeah. kind of sit in the back but the thing about darren is he enjoys like the, like it's not just the music it's like the concert you yeah. know what i mean like it's the whole thing what the f is that okay piss <laughs> I, off. Dude, I love it i love it because i called you the other day to try to schedule the podcast and there and you're like stop burning that don't do that like oh flipping God, out with the kids so it's so bad. hilarious so this is like back when we were kids <laughs> this is... like and your mom was on the phone like it's like i'm on the phone like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, messing yeah. your mom now it's just like <laughs> this is like taking it to the next it's level so good there's phones <laughs> there's cameras and lighting oh, i love it i think they're gonna leave you alone yeah i love it just uh just like put that down no don't do that yeah, they, all that does is encourage to mess around more. I mean, Ray Yan is a dad. This is, you know, you kind of reap what you sow, and I, and I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, worried that if I have kids one day, it'll be the same you know, way. My dream would be to have like a threshing sledge style basement with like Marshall stacks and all that shit. Darren's down there. We're playing. Yeah. And like, and then the kids come down and do the same shit. Like, <laughs> Daddy's recording a very important solo. Yeah. Very, yeah. very important <laughs> solo. <laughs> Dude, uh, Carrie yeah. King is on the other line. Like, yeah. You've got to leave Daddy alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, uh, so so. Get out of here. Obviously, he went on to yeah. other bands, and then you kind of, uh, you know, your 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 rock star dreams kind of fizzled at that point. Yeah, I kind of realized I wasn't good at stuff. So yeah, I kind of I kind of left like the being good at stuff to Darren and. Yeah, and then yeah, that's kinda... where you like basically figured I'm gonna go need to get educated and and do something with yeah, myself. No, it was like um, I mean I always loved like doing both. I guess like I still love to play guitar again. It was so much fun. But um, yeah. But yeah, like they were just able to take it to that next level. And for me, my whole thing was it was kind of weird because at the time, CKY was taking off. The movies were what? starting to take off. And all that good stuff was happening. Yeah. I kind of realized, I was like, look, you know. Oh, get him the hell out of here. Daddy's getting into the emotional part here, okay? You're messing it up. Okay, well, Teddy, go upstairs. Yo, dude. Go kick your grandfather or something. Go. No, no, kick my No. Okay, get out of here. You're bad. Um, but at, at the time, like, all that stuff was happening, I realized that, um, I'm like, look, at some point, money and all this other stuff, it always seems to get in the way of everything. Yeah. And then, so what do I want to do? Do I want to, like, milk this for all I can and then try and get rich and famous and live out in L.A., which I probably should have done because <laughs> I may be rich and famous now and have lots of money. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I was like, I got a good thing going. I'll just try and, like, like disappear from work every now and yeah, then and yeah. use my vacation and then that way you know I got a decent job and I can still have fun and then if extra money comes in Party yeah. time, dude. <laughs> exactly. And that's what happened. So then you transitioned more into the filming side of it than, than sticking with the band stuff. But then CKY, yeah, the, the, the band, the, the was filming off. stuff, and then the band was taking off. And, you know, those guys, it was awesome. We'd get to go on tour with them. Yeah. It was almost like Darren and Jess and all those guys were so good to us. It was like being in the band. Yeah. But having no talent. It was. You know? And that's exactly what I did. It was go so out, awesome. Go out on tour with them a bunch. Come out. Go get the crowd chanting oh, CKY. Yeah. CKY. And then all of a sudden, you're jumping out into the crowd, but you get to live the life yeah, of a we'd rock be star. Yeah, out in the crowd. Like me and you, I've yeah. seen literally, we jump off stage, crowd surf. 
to the bar, yeah. get a beer, <laughs> and, then, right, and then ask them if they would carry us back onto the stage because yeah. it was too far to walk around. Yeah, yeah. You know, and not spill a drop. Uh-huh. Uh, Dude, time. so so incredible, man. Those days are just awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, so uh, you know, living the life of a rock star on the road, doing all that. And then now you're living the life of a dad. Yep. Freaking <laughs> daddy daycare. Yeah, daddy daycare is happening. The kids are running around. And uh, we're trying to squeeze in a podcast here. And it's, and it's it's awesome. But it is awesome to be chatting with you about it. Now the hard Talking part Talking about is those days. Like looking at you. Yeah. And thinking of all the fun stuff that we did. Yeah. And I'm looking at them. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they're going to get into? Uh, you just know that you're getting repaid for sure. They are. They uh, are. Uh, think about it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. It would probably drive you nuts. Half the stuff we filmed, Rab, I'm like, (laughs) did they burn that? Yeah. I I hope they burned it. (laughs) not. Well, dude, I have little nephews, and they'll go, can we see some of the stuff? I'm like, I don't think so. I think. uh, You know what's hilarious now? Everything's all about the YouTubers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, some of the stuff, every now and then, some of the clips of what we did on art, like, like will pop up on YouTube, but yeah. that's like the shit now. You know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, like, like you're not a really YouTuber. I was like, Dad's got a video on there, and I'm like, wait, wait, not that one, not that one. Control <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. off delete. Control <laughs> off tell. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stop it, and once that train has started, there's yeah, no stopping it's, it's it. It's kind of tough. Oh my God. So, uh, but life is good for you. You, uh, you know, after the fact of of all the TV stuff, you still do some stuff here and there with Blood, Bloodhound Gang. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Freaking uh, Evil Jared, man. I, I love that guy. So he'll pop up every now and then. Joe Frond, some yeah. of the fools from the past. Everyone's like mellowed out a little bit. Except maybe evil. Yeah, I don't think he's an it out at all. If he's capable of doing that. Yeah, no. <laughs> but he's got like a real life and career in Germany. I need to go yeah. out there. Yeah, oh, dude, they tour all the time. He and went the David Hasselhoff yeah. route and freaking. There you go. Hit that hole in one. <laughs> Missed out on that train, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> dude, yeah, so so cool. But, uh, but man, those days like were, were so much fun, and uh, and I enjoyed it. But um, after that, I, I, did, I, I was learning to kind of direct and, and uh, do camera work and, and those things as yeah, well. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of good stuff. Yeah, and, and I've been working as a camera guy for my day job, but, but always have a, a passion for wanting to direct some stuff and make some projects. And, and I just got to thank you for how much you've helped out, you know, in the— no, I'm always and, down. Yeah, and and you you came and did uh, hot dog casserole, and then you came and did uh, it borrowed happiness, which was another part of uh, you know uh, some filmmaking stuff that I'm doing. We we put them up on YouTube, so you can watch borrowed happiness on there. I'm about to put up uh, the hot dog casserole oh, one cool. soon, soon, and some of the old skits are there. And and uh, yeah, no, you always were down to come and and uh, and do it. And and it was funny. I was we were talking a little oh bit. My God, but, we filmed that one skit. There was like real cops there. Yeah. No, I know. We got we actually had legitimate cops in the in the uh, in the scene for Borrowed Happiness. They were real cops, but it was funny to me. So um, we were talking a little bit about you know your oldest boy Teddy. Mm-hmm. He was just born yeah. about a day or two before you had to come over and do the scene where the cops taser you. So here's the hard part when it comes to like <laughs> scheduling and filming and all that shit. So you'll say. I don't think I was drunk, but who knows what was going on. Yeah, no problem, Rab, dude. I'll right. be there. He's right. like, I forget what. So, that he was born on. Let me do the math. April. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like April, You're trying to whatever. do the math to see if he, and yeah. How the fuck are you going to do that math? Like three, th- th- I don't even <laughs> yeah, know. All these was, months out. It yeah. could have been a year ahead of time. Yeah. And, I was like, and then all of a sudden you're like, Holy shit, that's in three days. Like, yeah. Uh, You're literally in the delivery room, and I'm like, yo, we're good for Tuesday, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hold on a second. Like, oh, my God, what is that? <laughs> oh, shit, that's my kid. Like, Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. So you're, like, taking the gloves off after, like, you yeah, know. And like, like, what do you sp- like, and then all of a sudden it's like. And then they're tasing you and beating you onto the ground. You're ripping your knees up on the carpet. Honey, what are you doing? I'm your just ass. going to the bathroom. <laughs> the window open. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> just sneaking out of the yeah. hospital room to come film a little part for our short film. 
uh, borrowed happiness. He is the he is the uh, party goer that is that gets involved. It's supposed to just be a threesome, but he end up ends up being the fourth member of the threesome. Oh yeah, that was... <laughs> and and you are uh, you're there. You know, it's a crime to party, and that's like the fucking fun. That wasn't line. the bad one, I think, because that one might have been like two weeks before he was born. Okay, I think it was. The party scene, yeah, and then you pulled a freaking Brandon on me. Oh yeah, you don't say what you got to do till you get there. <laughs> like, okay, yes. I'm here, dude. You're like, yeah, take your shirt off. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what's I'm happening? Like, There's a lot of people. <laughs> Is that a real band? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay, good time. And then you got random Delco moms flashing their boobs. Oh uh, yeah, that, was I'm like, like <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> yeah, some people like the other part. It's like they're enthusiastic, but it's like. I'm like, Rob, is that in the script? He's like, fuck no. <laughs> no, it just happened. Just go with it. I'm not going to stop I mean? it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whatever. But, dude, always so fun, you know, catching up and also working on stuff with you. Um, you know, I've always got a couple little things in the works, and we'll have to get together and shoot another little skit. So here's my one message for anybody ever wants to film with Rab or ever do anything. <laughs> People are like, oh, I love Haggard. I love this. I love yeah. that. Bart Avenues. I'm like, the key to doing anything like that is don't be a little bitch about anything you know what i yeah. mean don't be a bitch about you know all oh, this there's the paperwork and the signatures yeah and like, yeah and what time what I mean? you got to be there how you got to wait around uh, and... wait, uh, uh, don't fucking yeah. you know just do it yeah no and you and never I, know what can happen hell yeah man and i appreciate that mindset and and i i've talked about that because i sat down with bam and i sat down with franz and we talked about how that is a thing that happened with our crew was everybody was just ready to film something they were ready to go for it yeah, at any dude. moment and that and Fuck that's it, let's make that's it rare. happen and we'll, we'll worry about it later Later. If it's worth worrying about, then we'll fucking we'll sort that shit out later. Yeah. But when you fucking talk about money and contracts and bullshit, you ain't even done nothing yet. Right. Like, you exactly. Know? Fucking, you know, just, just go for it. Yeah, just go for it. And then, hey, if you get, you know. Yeah, if you get a couple couple bucks, a couple Larson beers out, out of it. At least you got a good story at the end of the <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it you is. all got to go through life saying you didn't do nothing. Dude, I remember that. Like, uh, like when, we, when we would go film, like, you know, Viva La Bam or things like that, we would do some insane thing that day. We're in these crazy costumes, and we'd show up to the bar with, like, peacock feathers coming out of our head and, and all types of, like, war paint on from oh, the that day. Was, that you was know? my other thing. You did it, too. So our... Rab and I, our thing was like, whatever we we're wearing or whatever happened to us, when it, the day was over and it was time for, uh, you know, time to go out, I ain't getting changed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, own it. Yeah, you just know? go with it. And if it means, like, you're wearing a thong, hey, you're wearing a thong. If you're wearing a thong, you got paint. <laughs> yeah. The worst, though, the worst was, and it was a great skit, the, um, um, I forget which CKY it was in, but the one thing with the big, giant, like, raven in the freaking tree, it just shits <laughs> on my head. Yeah, that's done. That and all the, the eggs and all that stuff. Nobody told me about <gasps> any of that. <laughs> I had to go back to work after that. Oh. That was, like, I left on my lunch hour because they're like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be super quick, blah, blah, blah. I had to go back to work. Yeah, and I, I remember that. I started working for this dude, and... uh there was this Chinese guy, and he was just like, imagine like your first day or two on the job, and you're meeting your new employee. Yeah. And then he just got shit on <laughs> by a giant fucking pterodactyl, pterodactyl, whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Yeah. There was still frosting and like egg and shit in my hair. I'm like, oh, hi, you know. <laughs> hey. Get back to work here. Like, 2.30. <laughs> got a lot of reactions to run. Yeah. Like, is that raw egg? Yeah, like, he didn't ew. say anything, but yeah. I was like, "Oh my god!" I think I tried to use some solvent to get that shit out of my. Yeah, head. and it does, but yeah, you you just uh, you you took some time off to that. I remember because you came out and you're like, "Dude, we got to hurry up!" And they're like, "Yeah, I got a meeting to go to." You're like, "Fucking meet this!" You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Prepare. Hell yeah! Don't open your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, you know, at least we had a good time. You know, we owned it every yeah. day. We got to go out looking like total scumbags, dude. For real, we got to travel a ton from yeah. it, and. Uh, and 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 super grateful for those times. It was so funny and and uh, and so many so many good stories from it and and uh, good memories like just with a bunch of good friends, you know. Who yeah, and that was a good time, you know. And then you know, part of you know, you know, part of me wishes like a lot of that could have like could have kind of kept going. Yeah, for sure. I guess like any good band or anything like that, sometimes yeah. it's tough to uh, 
to keep the band together. Yeah. But it seems like you still got your good attitude. You're still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Somehow I'm still alive. Yeah, so. Still filming stuff, so uh, so we'll have Cheers to get to you that. in the mix of it again. And, yeah, dude, and, anytime. Uh, yeah, dude. Well, I appreciate you coming on the Bathroom Break podcast and uh, and chatting it up. Do you have uh, you have a Twitter, Rakeon Twitter? Yeah, it's, um, what the fuck is it? I think it's Rakeon007. Okay. Yeah, some, yeah. somehow uh, um, my skeezy manager, freaking Joe C, got, yeah. the, uh, got me one of the blue uh, check oh. marks. Oh, you're way back in the, Way back in the day. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask. So, yeah, uh, you don't want to ask those yeah, questions. Yeah, the Italian connection hooked it up. <laughs> so, uh, Dude, so so you're legit on there on uh, Raytheon 007. Yeah, so I got to get back on there and screw with people some more. Yeah. The Eagles have been embarrassing me so much. Yeah, so you don't want to uh, been, talk too much about that. <laughs> but, uh, dude, awesome, awesome to chat with you, and thanks for coming on here. Yeah, no and... problem. Got to see you out on the West Coast. Uh-huh! uh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Okay, awesome. see you, man. Later. <laughs> Old ass Charlie Rose got caught fingering or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. Got caught.